This will be the very first scene for this fortress setting, uh, the cave where the reds teleport is. Uh, it's work in progress as all the others. Sam and Obi, uh, here they are. They would appear inside the teleport, somehow made possible by the membrane, even though the teleport is unusable, uh, has been for a long time. We've chosen a circle as the dominant shape for the reds technology. So as you can see, the teleport is made out of many cylindrical forms. Uh, this is not a finished design, by the way, but uh, more or less this is how it would look like. We have these pipes uh, attached to the teleport. And the idea is uh, that they lead to the Science Institute a few miles away, where physicists were trying to extract something from the teleport uh, for the purpose of creating their own biosphere annihilator but unfortunately even these attempts to use the this uh, extraterrestrial technology failed as did numerous earlier uh, attempts using their own state-of-the-art technology as the as the lead antinatalist got older together with others he started thinking thinking about the suffering in the rest of the biosphere and if it would be possible to bring him down entirely. It seemed wrong to him, and to the others as well, for them to leave the meat grinder without trying to help other sentient species, members of the family, so to say. So, the story goes over many, many years. Uh, the Biosphere Annihilator project was active, but it gave no results. Uh, however, there was some breakthrough with the usage of the Red's teleport that came very late, unfortunately, for the remaining humanoids, scientists, who had little time left. More about this in the IE scene video. Uh, in general, all this extraterrestrial technology was thoroughly researched, but it didn't brought uh, a significant widespread technological advancement because it's simply too advanced. In front of the teleport would be this statue of the elite antinatalist holding a nuclear weapon of immense power. Uh, the statue also serves as the cave uh, support. Uh, the idea is should the teleport uh, become usable again and uh, other red beings show up, the last thing they would see, or is hope so, is the smiling statue of the elite antinatalist before the entire site is vaporized. However, the arrival of Sam and Obi does not trigger the weapon. So, the Red teleport is the biggest threat to the biosphere in the sense of preserving it or restoring it, but at the same time the biggest hope for ending it. That would be the reason why the humanoids, the antinatalists, haven't destroyed the teleport. These are the killed Reds as exhibits. Visitors would come from all around the world to see the teleport and dead red beings in person. Also in showcases are their tools <coughs> put here once uh, they were not needed to the authorities anymore. One of the bodies and various pieces of, the, of uh, technology from the teleport would perhaps be found in the Science Institute. There would also be a mural down here somewhere depicting the discovery of the cave by the lead antinatalist as a child, as well as the other key events that took place in the cave. Uh, these elevators and uh, staircase uh, lead uh, to lead inside the uh, global antinatalist government building, a palace built above the cave. We have a triangle as the dominant shape for all the architecture, uh, vehicles, and props. Everything essential. Finally, uh, since humanoids of uh, this planet have gone extinct many years ago, uh, the scene, as all the others, uh, essentially would look desolate, with the cave uh, ceiling partially collapsed sun rays hitting the statue 
plants around the statue, etc. This would be the very 